Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do my meatloaf, which is probably my most popular dish. Um, I use about a pound and a half of pork, two pounds of lean ground beef. Uh, for seasoning, we're going to go with uh, whiskey band today. We're going to do the grind and the rocks. And then my mixture, literally other than that, is probably a couple tablespoons of barbecue sauce. I pre-fry onions, green peppers, and garlic. Um, I hate when you have a bite of meatloaf and it... Uh, you like taste like a you know a crispy bite of onion or pepper. Some people just don't like the mouthfeel in that, and I don't either. So I pre-fry them soft and a little bit of butter, and then also what goes into my meatloaf is uh, some cubed up cheese, and then I also put in shredded cheese. And I went with it's like a nacho cheese blend, it's called. And uh, let's get this all together, and then we'll form a loaf, and then we'll get it out on the grill. I have the uh, Traeger going at 275 right now. We'll go for an hour at 275, and then we'll bump it to 350 until we hit the internal of the center around 165 at that point i'll throw a little bit of barbecue sauce on top let it tack up let it rest then we're going to eat so follow along So now we're going to make the loaf and I like to put it in a pan and I foil up the pan first and then I spray it with some uh, olive oil or cooking spray. I use duck fat spray and uh, just keeps it from sticking and then it keeps your grill from getting too dirty. So let's, uh, we'll make probably two loaves out of this. It's quite a bit, but uh, let's get her started. Looks disgusting, doesn't it? But I promise you it, it, it will taste amazing. So let's make it a little bigger, this one here and literally This is all I do to form my meatloaf. And the lower you go, the faster it will cook. So it all depends on your timing. Um, but if you've got lots of time and you want a lot of smoke flavor, you can set that Traeger or whatever other smoker you've got, doesn't matter, a little lower. If you want to go hunting fast, go for it. Um, I like to set my Traeger at 225, go super smoke if I have a ton of time. Tonight I don't, so we're gonna go 275, then up to 350, but I am still gonna keep it small just so it cooks a little bit even. So size is kind of everything when it comes to these if you want it to cook even. So once we're done this stage, what we'll do is we'll add a little bit more seasoning to the outside to get the crust and it's gonna be awesome. You can see all the cheese in there, it's pretty sweet. So for the seasoning, I'll get rid of that and we're just gonna put a little, another light dusting of both the grind and the rocks on there. Create a nice crust on the top. Then we'll let that set in, and then we're gonna go to the grill. First, we're gonna have a stud. Wow, let's get these babies on. All right. Let's have ourselves a little chop check. Always go to the center. And we are at 127 degrees in that one. And we're 125 in this one, so unless you want to die, we're not quite ready yet. So I'm going to crank it up a little bit, like I said, 350, 375, and we'll let it roll. We're going to pull them at 165 and let them rest. All right, so I'm going to go out now. Um, the meatloafs are at about 160 degrees, so they're about 5 degrees from where I want to be. So I'm going to go slather one of them in uh, this sauce. You can pick your favorite sauce, and I'm going with Traeger Texas Spicy. And uh, the other one I'm not going to put any sauce on because my wife is keto, so we're going to keep it as keto friendly as possible. So I'm going to go slather one of them up in this bath. Alright, let's sauce this baby. We're back. Alright. Oh, for good measure. Now, let's slice into this. So, um, we sauced it at about 160. I let it go another 5-10 minutes. It came up to about 165 in the center. I pulled it off and uh, it's been resting for about five, maybe 10 minutes max. And now we're gonna slice it and then I'm gonna drizzle a little more sauce on it and then we're gonna serve it. So um, that will probably be the end. So let's take a look at what this baby looks like on the inside. So, 
and that's what we're dealing with. So it's fully cooked. I know some people like it a little more rare, not me. And uh, it is nice and juicy, as you can see. And uh, it's going to be delicious. Can't wait.